epic home staging tip for house flippers. If you're not already doing this, this is going to be a game changer for you. It's going to be enlightening. It's going to make you a bunch more money. And it's so simple. You're going to be thinking, why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, if, uh, if you're a home staging company, you're going to be pissed off at me because I'm going to be taking business from you. But here's the bottom line. Just like I've been doing for the last 10 years of this YouTube channel, I'm going to share signal and truth. And sometimes that angers certain people. So be it. It's worth it because for real estate investors, you need to know this information because it's going to help you be a lot more productive. Now, if you're just a homeowner, maybe looking to, to sell your home that uh, you've lived in for the last 10 years and you've hired a real estate agent, you're wondering, should I hire a home staging company? Will you benefit from this video? Sure. But uh, for real estate investors, this is critical for you. All right, so let's talk about home staging. The concept of home staging is that you're going to furnish or put furniture into an otherwise vacant home. And what is that going to do? Well, that's going to help a prospective buyer visualize what it's like to live in that house, where they're going to sit down on the couch, where they're going to watch the TV, where their bed is going to be placed. Now, how does that impact or help? Well, a lot of people can't visualize. Now, you might be the kind of person that can look at, a, at an empty slate and envision something remarkable, but a lot of people don't have that ability. So they need to be shown that. There's a reason why home builders have a model home that's fully furnished, right? It helps the prospective buyers get a feel for what it's like to live in one of those homes. However, when it comes to home staging, there's a lot of misinformation, in my opinion. And this is part of where it's non-conventional wisdom. So uh, the, the conventional wisdom is going to stay that home staging increases the amount you can sell your house for. In fact, a 2018 study done by the Home Staging Resources Organization, get this, they determined from I think 5,000 um, survey respondents that 85% uh, of the houses that had been staged sold for 6 to 25% more than their uh, non-staged counterparts. That's a huge range, right? 6 to 25%, what does that mean? And 85%, what would happen to the other 15%? Do they sell for less? What's going on? So this is an example, in my opinion, of misinformation. Let me explain why. Because first of all, it's very difficult to create an apples to apples comparison on, on a home that is staged versus not staged. The reason is because every home tends to be a little bit different, whether it, the layout, whether it exactly how big the rooms and, and whatnot. Then there's the issue of a lot of the homes that are staged are the best renovated ones, are the nicest ones. And so what ends up happening is the nicest home ends up getting the staging, and so we, we, we attribute it to the stage, but that may not be why it's sold for 6% more, for example. Then we have other complications on the matter, and that includes sometimes the furniture is included in the sale. And that would explain why you can go up to 25%. Because if the furniture is included, the way it works with most lenders is they do not want to lend money on the furniture. So there's never any mention that furniture was included in the sale. Not mentioned in the MLS remarks, not mentioned anywhere. And they just put it into the purchase price. And they never mention on the purchase contract that any of the furniture was included. And if you're a real estate uh, agent or a mortgage broker, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So it may have nothing to do with the house being more desirable and selling for more because the, the staging occurred, but it because they included the furniture. Because you can't do this like you can, like a scientist can do in a, in a laboratory. These are different homes, different homeowners, hard to get that comparison. Now, I have spent a lot of time on this subject because I used to ha have an entire uh, four bedroom set of furniture that I would put into a storage unit and have my crew bring it out, put it into the house. When I sold the house, take it out, and I did this whole mess. I basically was my own home stager for a while to try to help with the sale of the properties. And uh, let me tell you, I am not convinced that home staging truly improves overall the sale price of the property. It can to a small degree, and I'll talk about how, but to a, to a large degree it doesn't. And that's because ultimately there's two sides to this. There's marketability, and I'm going to call marketability how fast you can find a full price buyer. And then there's value. 
Value is what it's going to appraise for. Now, some people argue that appraised value is whatever the buyer and the seller agree to. And to some degree, that's true, but also appraisals are based on comparable sales. And let me tell you, there's no appraisal I've ever seen in my life where there's a line item in the adjustment section that talks about home staging. There's never an adjustment that says, oh, that home was staged, so they, they get an adjustment because they were staged. Never. So that must mean that appraisers don't put any value on home staging either, and they're the they're the professionals on valuation. So instead, what, what, a, what a home staging does is it improves this. This is what you get. You get a desirability improvement. Now that can translate to value, and let me explain how, what, if you do it our way. When we sell a house, and I have other videos on this, we picture it like a product launch. Meaning, what we try to do is we try to price it low right out of the gates low price and what we want to accomplish is a m o s multiple offer situation we want to get several offers at the same time that creates a competition between buyers and from a psychological standpoint that can push the price up and we believe that it's the multiple offer situation the psychology of that that pushes the price up not necessarily the home staging, okay? And so if we have a multiple offer situation which is partly created by having an improvement in marketability, the improvement in marketability is because there's a bunch of furniture in there and people can envision themselves living there, now all of a sudden we've gotten what we wanted. But if we don't create a multiple offer situation, we have seen in our own experience over a long period of time that the property doesn't actually sell for more because it's got the furniture in there. I mean, look, I've had situations where Furniture was perfect, this gorgeous Tommy Bahama furniture. My wife's great at interior design and decorating and coloring, and so she made it just gorgeous. And it still sold for the same darn amount if I had no furniture in there. Why? Because what that buyer's agent did is they went back to value. When they had their buyer making the offer, since it wasn't a multiple offer situation and I couldn't create competition, they were able to pull some comps from in that neighborhood and say, well, this one only sold for, for $247. This one only sold for, uh, for, two fi uh, for $240. So there's no way we're going to offer you $250. We're going to offer you $245. So value is what it actually appraises for, what the comps show. And this is ultimately what buyer's agents are going to go back to with their offer when they're encouraging their buyer to make an offer, unless you got the multiple offer situation. Then you can break free of that to some degree. Okay, but if we talk about all the benefits, now we're going to talk about the problem with home staging. It's called cost. Cost. It can cost thousands and thousands of dollars to professionally home stage a property. Why? You got to move all that furniture in there, and then there's the expense of the furniture, and then there's the skill of being an interior designer to make sure all the colors all look right. So there's a huge cost, thousands and thousands of dollars. And of course, a lot of people have asked their questions over the years to me, Phil, is it worth the cost? And for so many years, this was always my answer. It was, well, it's got to be a high enough price point home where the, the sales price is so high relative to the cost that it's a tiny fraction of the overall sales price. And furthermore, you get your best bang for your buck if we're talking about a condo or some other smaller square footage where you don't need as much furniture, but the sale price is still really high. Because remember, these home builders, they don't, they don't stage every home. They just do one, the model home. They're trying to be efficient. So if you can be efficient with your home staging choice, it, it, my, my previous advice was always go that route. Otherwise, don't stage. It's not going to be worth the extra upfront cost to do it. Now, this is what brings us to this tip. All this time, I haven't actually told you the magical tip that's going to be a game changer, but I'm going to tell it to you now. So, if, this, if the biggest problem is cost, then the solution would be to reduce the cost, right? But to still get the benefits. Absolutely. The problem is if you go out and buy your own furniture and then get the storage unit, by the time you're, you're paying your crew to get it out of the storage unit, put it in the house, put it back in the storage unit, the cost is still there. You can't save money by just buying a bunch of furniture. Plus, if you don't do every house identically the same, some furniture won't fit in certain houses, right? And won't be able to get around that corner, up those stairs. So there's problems there. And then, actually, one more problem I should, I should point out about home staging is just getting the furniture in and out and dinging up the walls and, and, and taking off that, that corner. Um, so you've got cost, and I'm also going to call it hassle. Here's the solution. 
Virtual staging. You may have already heard of it, and if you haven't, I'm so glad, so glad I'm the one to introduce you. Virtual staging, where what happens is you take your professionally shot pictures of the house, send them to a virtual staging company, and they will Photoshop in furniture into the pictures. So voila, you've got no hassles and a much lower cost. They usually charge like $75 a picture for the good ones. I, uh, the company I use is uh, Box Brownie. A link up here for box but they're out of uh, Australia they they were the first ones to the market they're fantastic at it but there's probably other good ones too I just always use them and what I also love about uh, virtual staging is ultimately these days the majority of sale of the sale of the house occurs before they ever show up they're making their buying decision at the point at which they're looking on their phone at pictures so often these days, between the Google streets that they look at so they can look around the neighborhood and the pictures they see, most home buyers have already committed to purchasing a house before they ever show up. When they show up, they're just all they're really doing at that point is just validating all the assumptions, making sure there weren't any, any gross uh, negligent lies about the pictures. Like for example, I don't recommend you should uh, virtually uh, Photoshop in, let's say, a kitchen island when there really is no uh, kitchen island in the property. The furniture you can get away with right now uh, with this idea because you can put in the MLS notes there will be no furniture in the home at the time you, you see it. Furniture is movable so you can pull off the virtual stage and not be lying on the images but you don't want to Photoshop in different features of the house that don't actually exist. And this right here is fast, it's easy. I still recommend you do professional photos. I know with uh, locally here, I have a, a, a photographer that works with a lot of real estate agents. For $150 to $200, she'll take pictures of each one of my rehabbed houses. Then she does her own little color work to it, a little bit of Photoshop work to make the colors look nice as far as the sun and whatnot. And then I'll send it over to Box Brownie. They'll pop in all the furniture, which is another thing. They're going to pick the right colors for that particular picture. You see that too? So they also play the role of interior designer without actually having to pay an interior designer. It's a game changer. It's made a huge impact for us. We, uh, when this idea first came about, somebody first introduced me to this. I, um, I had an apprentice that was struggling to sell a home in the mountains, which um, he had. I told him not to buy it. I told him it was way too expensive. He bought it anyways, which kind of frustrated me, but I was going to help him through this little fiasco he put himself into. And here he was, 90 days on the market, couldn't sell it. He couldn't sell it because the price was too high. He didn't want to drop the price because he'd lose money. And uh, it, it, he had reached back out to me and said, Phil, what do I do differently? And I said, uh, I said well, uh, Giovanni, what you're going to have to do is get some furniture in these pictures. And he said, but Phil, I don't have the money for a home staging company. And I said, well, Giovanni, we're in luck. I've just heard of this thing called virtual staging. Let's try them out. Let's stick some, let's stick some uh, virtual <laughs> couches and, and furnishings there in your pictures and see what happens. I kid you not, in one week, he had an almost full price offer and he had it sold. Now, that is an example of a property that would not have sold uh, based on people coming to it. He would have had to sell it from the Internet because people who were looking at this mountain community, they were typically far away and they were, they were sold based on pictures first and then they would come to see it later. So virtual staging, that is the epic home staging tip for house flippers. Does that apply to homeowners as well? You bet. Absolutely. Get those professional pictures done, get them virtually staged, and voila. This is the future of home staging. Virtual staging is where it's at. And I know there's a lot of traditional home stagers out there right now that are cringing, like, oh my gosh, Phil, you're taking all this business away from me. But here's the reality. It's the pictures. That's where all the home staging value comes from. It's at the picture level because that's where people are making buying decisions on their phone before they ever show up to the house. That's why I believe if you're a real estate investor and you're flipping houses, every single house should be virtually staged. Everyone. Why not? If you're selling to a retail buyer, now if you're wholesaling some complete burnout, that's a little different. You can't put furniture and stuff like that. But otherwise, virtual stage every one of your deals. I think you'll make more money, you'll sell faster, and hopefully you'll save a lot of money if you've been doing the traditional home staging. All right, well, I'm Phil Pustiowski with FreedomMentor.com. I'm a full-time real estate investor, but I'm also a mentor and coach to many of the most successful real estate investors all across North America. I'm the best-selling author of several books, but this one right here, How to Be a Real Estate Investor, I give away for free in the, in the top corner of these videos. And if you want to be a first-class, market-leading, 
money-making machine of a real estate investor. Consider my apprentice program where my team and I mentor people for the long haul and turn them into absolute professionals. This and 10,000 other techniques that we've pioneered and tested and tweaked out is what we share with you so that you can hit the ground running and produce results fast but then produce lasting results because I'm not looking to mentor somebody on one house flip. I'm looking at helping them be a career changing move where they're making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in real estate investing. That's what you can do with this, but you got to do everything right. That's what our apprentice program is all about. So uh, consider applying for my apprentice program here as well because that can also be a game changer for you. Far more than just one simple tip like this. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this video, put them down below here. I try to carve out time out of my schedule uh, to handle those. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.